certainly say, take a space in your day. Sit quietly with the Lord, listening, but really listening to the Lord. He will answer, maybe through something you're reading, maybe through something that somebody said to you, but he will always answer clearly to you. Try to remain open to that call and try to find time to listen to what it's asking. Give time to listen to what God is calling you to. To pray about it, to really ask God to enlighten you, to show you what his plans are for you. And to reach, pray to a lot, uh, take time to think about it, to pray to our lady. If that call is there, it needs to grow and it needs nurturing. And the way to do that is through prayer. Definitely pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit and Our Lady for guidance. I used to say a Hail Mary every night um, before I went into bed, that I would know what God's will for my life would be. Have a great devotion to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Love our Blessed Lady. Get to Mass. Often. I'd say go for it because it's a brilliant life but those initial first steps are the most difficult you really need to find someone that you can talk to because you need to hear yourself say out loud I think I might have a vocation, so what do I do? I would say don't hesitate. It's just a wonderful life. I could be sitting in an old people's home now, and yet here I am, surrounded by so much love and so much happiness. Um, oh, I can, I'm 50, 60 years professed, 60 years a sister uh, last August. Um, and, and all I can say is life is wonderful and you would never regret it if that's what the Lord wants of you. So be, be courageous and take the first step and the rest will follow. Yes. Just give it a try because there are two things that come from that. You discover that that is the place where God wants you to be and um, you continue happily on that journey. Or you discover it's not for you but you've learned more about yourself and again, you continue along the journey that God has planned for you. It really would be to find someone you trust to accompany you in that journey um, because it can be a confusing time and it can be um, a strange time. So quite often we're not good at making sense of things on our own. It's nice if someone that can um, walk with us and maybe is a little bit more experienced on that journey that can help us make sense of things. You find someone to accompany you because it's not something that you can do on your own. I think it's good to have someone to walk with you to help you really discern what that call means for you today. For me, it's really about a journey. If you can find someone to walk with you, they will take you through a process of discernment, working out what God is asking and where he's calling you to live your life. The process is usually done at your pace. You're in control of it. And then you grow through. Religious life has a certain mystique about it. And quite often, you've got lots of questions. Make a list of them and don't be afraid to ask. To have courage to accept because the greatest gift you can go it can give you is a gift of vocation. I would encourage someone to get in touch with the religious order. There would be somebody who could share with you their experience of life. They would also help you to to maybe discover where God is in your life and what's important to you and they would help you to discern the way ahead. Is to be always open and joyful because sometimes a smile 
means to a person means more than a long chat. And another thing is to look for someone to help you while discerning and be courageous to take risks. I would encourage you. I would encourage you to take it seriously and to make a response, whatever that response may be. Um, and find peace with that. Remember, if God is calling you, he won't let you go. All you need to do is take that first step and say, I'll try.